Hello everyone, Dr. G here today um, to talk about midpoints and frequency distributions. And I want to take a moment just to show you how to do it in StatCrunch. And uh, it feels good to be back after not posting some videos in a while. Um, so without further ado, let's jump over to StatCrunch. Now there is a superheroes file, um, data file that StatCrunch actually made. And what I did was I imported it and I just took out the DC comics <clears throat> because I'm a big DC guy. Uh, not that I don't like um, Marvel movies, but uh, I do prefer DC comics. All right. And so what we have here is the name of a bunch of characters in DC comics and their heights and their heights in centimeters. Okay. So. What I want to do is I actually need to make a frequency table first. So I'm, I'm just going to do that really quickly. In stat, summary stat, I'm going to pick the column of height. And I'm just, I want you to know how many objects are in the data file. But really what I need is the min and the range, right? And so I'm going to click on compute. And I can see that there are 146 DC characters in this database. For which there are heights the minimum height is 61 and the range is uh 218 okay so i am going to go ahead and divide this uh by 10 like we talked about in class that gives me 21.8 and so i'm just going to use 20 as my bin size and i'm just going to start at 60 okay so when i go to stat and table I'm going to pick a frequency table and what I want is the height and I just want the frequency for right now. Obviously you can select relative frequency and then I'm going to go ahead and bin it and I'm going to start at 60 to make sure that I have that minimum value in there and then I'm going to go by 20s. Um, let's go by 25. Let's go by 25. Um, maybe that makes more sense. And I'm going to store it in the data table. Okay. So we're going to start at 60 because that's below the minimum and it gives us a nice starting value. And then I'm going to make the width 25 so that I have approximately um, 10 bins or classes. I'm going to store it in the data table and I click on compute. And what you can see is I have 60 at 85, 135 to 160, 160 to 185, and the frequency of each. Now to get the midpoint, what I really need is I need the lower class, right? So I need 60, 135, 160, 185, 210, 235, 260, okay? And then I need the upper class, the upper end of the class. So that's going to be 85, 160, 185, 210, 235, 260, and 285. So for the lower, I'm just reading this left number. And for the upper, I'm just reading this right number. Okay? So that's all there is to it. So how do I compute the midpoint? All right? So data, compute, expression. All right? Now I'm going to go ahead and hit the build. What I need is a set of parentheses. So I'm going to use the little parentheses guy. And I need the lower plus the upper. And I need that. Now, notice I bumped out of the parentheses so that I can put the divide by outside of it, two. All right. So midpoint is lower plus upper divided by two. And I'm literally just going to call that mid. Point. And I click on compute. And so here now is the midpoint for each of these. Okay. And so what I could do is now I can make a bar plot with summary. And the categories are going to be that midpoint. And the counts are going to be in frequency. And when I hit compute, you'll see the midpoint in the middle of each of the bars of the frequency distribution. 
Um, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, it's a short little video. Uh, and I hope that you'll watch more.